The Nile crocodile is widely considered amongst the most dangerous animals in Africa. They kill hundreds of people throughout the continent on a yearly basis. And although many attacks sadly go unreported, the ones that do make it to the public serve as a harsh reminder of just how deadly these ancient predators can be. The following episode depicts one of the most infamous crocodile attacks ever recorded, involving a man who was violently dragged from his boat in Botswana and consumed by a massive Nile crocodile in front of multiple eyewitnesses, including his wife. This is the horrifying true story of Dr. Richard Root's fatal encounter with one of the world's most feared predators. Botswana is a country that sits just above South Africa, right in the middle of the continent. It is known for being one of the most beautiful countries in the world, with almost 40% of its land being preserved for national parks and animal reserves. Some of our world's most diverse ecosystems thrive in this country's breathtakingly beautiful plains. Inhabiting lions, leopards, elephants, rhinos, and buffaloes, it's widely regarded as one of the top tourist destinations in all of Africa. The country is also home to the Limpopo River, one of the longest in all of Africa, spanning 1,750 kilometers. The river holds hundreds of species of fish and is surrounded by beautiful scenery and landscapes. Many consider seeing the greenery and surrounded vegetation of the river a uniquely rare experience as well. However, the riverbanks are a whole different story altogether. The river is home to the Nile crocodile, notoriously known as the biggest and most aggressive crocodile in all of Africa. Weighing in at upwards of 750 kilograms and growing to lengths of over 20 feet long, victims who are unlucky enough to encounter this animal in the wild typically have no hope of escaping their massive jaws. On New Year's Day of 2022, a 25-year-old woman in South Africa was dragged away by a crocodile while doing her laundry in the shallow water of the river. And in the very same year, four other people from the same small village had been killed in crocodile attacks, and many more would go out to the river only to mysteriously never return. For many inhabitants of small villages who don't have access to clean water, they're left with no choice but to risk their lives by having to go to the river every day. In another instance, a 25-year-old man and his friend from the Kumbani village were fishing along the shore of the river in February of 2022, and out of nowhere, his friend was charged at by a crocodile and dragged into the river, never to be seen again. The 25-year-old man attempted to search for him, only to get caught in some debris underwater, after which he would tragically drown. These are just some of the notable reported cases of fatal Nile crocodile attacks in the vicinity. Richard Root was a nationally renowned infectious disease expert in the US, and he spent much of his career throughout the 60s to the early 2000s working and studying at some of the top universities in North America. In 2006, he was invited on a two-month trip to Botswana by the University of Pennsylvania to help control the ongoing HIV epidemic in the country. He spent much of his time there working to educate doctors as well as treating patients and children. Richard would lose his first wife in 2001 and then remarry a woman named Rita O'Boyle, who would also accompany him to Botswana. And as time went by, at least to his family, it seemed like working in Botswana had changed Richard for the better. And this was despite the tough working conditions and the long hours. Many that knew him would report that he looked the happiest and most fulfilled that he ever had before, and by all indications, his career was on an upward trend despite his age. On the 19th of March, 2006, Dr. Richard and his wife, along with a friend and colleague of his, Dr. Harvey Friedman, were planning on taking a guided safari through the Thule Nature Reserve. By this point, the trio were about a halfway through their two-month stay in the country and they decide to take the day off and have some fun. The particular tour that they were on goes through a section of the Limpopo River on the southernmost part of the reserve. 
The wildlife in the reserve is once again extremely diverse, with giraffes, lions, cheetahs, and water bucks inhabiting the ecosystem, just to name a few. It's also worth noting that this section of the river is one of the only crocodile-free stretches in Botswana, and prior to this, there had never been a crocodile attack, at least in this specific area. However, unknown to the group was that this fact was about to change, and in succession, so too would the lives of many more. Dr. Richard and his friends would board the canoe that morning, with Richard sitting at the very front. The group was split into two different boats, with Rita being about 20 yards behind him on the second one. And so, the group sets off, and Richard's eyes light up as he gets excited about seeing all the native birds in the area. The tour guides gently paddle through the water, scanning the shore for hippos and making sure they didn't surprise animals suddenly with their presence because of course many of these animals are territorial and are not exactly welcoming to visitors. Unbeknownst to the group, a large Nile crocodile that somehow managed to sneak its way into the Thule Nature Reserve would lock its sights on Richard's canoe. It's important to note that Nile crocodiles can sense the smallest of vibrations in the water, and they use their vision to stalk larger prey. And so, all the tiny vibrations and movement caused by the boats and the paddles despite everyone's efforts to be discreet about it, had of course attracted this Nile crocodile, who was now sitting right below the stern of the boat, with its eyes just poking through the surface at Richard, waiting for an opportune moment to strike. And suddenly, out of nowhere, one of the guides spots the crocodile and yells croc, but just as he says that, the crocodile leaps at Richard, making a loud splashing noise which startles the group, and before Richard has time to react, the croc then lunges at him and grabs him by his arm, locking its jaws shut, which would result in a brief struggle as the guides attempt to free Richard from its mouth. The powerful and massive croc would then pull Richard out of the canoe, and then in front of his horrified companions and a devastated Rita, the crocodile within just seconds pulls Richard into the muddy abyss of the river. Rita and the other eyewitnesses on the boat are left petrified, as within seconds, an adventure which was supposed to be fun and exciting would turn into the most traumatizing experience of her life, with the only remains of Richard being a large blanket of blood which was left behind at the scene of the attack. Both locals and police showed up to search for the body that day, but to no avail, and after days of rescue attempts, they would then lose hope of finding his body realizing that the croc most likely consumed it in its entirety. It wouldn't be until March 23rd, however, a few days after the tragic ordeal, that Richard's mangled corpse would turn up on the shore of the river, not too far away from where the attack had occurred. The culprit croc, however, was never found, and although his wife Rita would be relieved that his body had been recovered, she would still be in denial for a long time afterward about whether he was truly gone. Richard was a man who dedicated his life to helping other people. He was an educator who was not just an expert in his field, but was well-renowned in some of the best medical institutions in the US. Thousands of his patients and colleagues would highly regard him and rely on his services in Botswana, and unfortunately because of one unlucky event, one of their biggest pillars of support would tragically be taken from them. If this episode piqued your interest, then our previous episode about the Tina Webb shark attack is sure to do the same. You can find it on the end screen of this video.